All right, there's one more quick note I'd like to make about the slope formula, and the reason for this is um, it has come to my attention that in middle school um, you are taught the slope formula a little bit differently, so I just want to show you that that is totally okay to do it the way, if you recall that way, and that you'll get the same answer. So I'm just going to take this problem, find the slope of the line containing the points 5, 7, and 3, negative 1. I'm going to do it the way that we would be used to doing it, um, I'm, and I'm going to, without doing the x1, y1, x2, y2, I'm just going to go ahead and subtract my y's. So if I subtract my y's, the way that I was showing on the previous video was to do negative 1 minus 7, whoop, negative 1 minus 7, there we go, and then subtract my x's, so I'm going to have 3 minus 5, and then I get negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8, and then 3 minus 5 is negative 2, negative 8 divided by negative 2 is 4, so I get a slope of 4. But I wanted to show you, many of you have been taught to go, instead of going right to left, you're taught to go from left to right. So again, if I subtract my y's, if I start left, I'm going to do 7 minus negative 1. And in the denominator, I'll do my x's, I'll do 5 minus 3. And then on the top, I will get 8. And on the bottom, I will get 2, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So notice it doesn't really matter which way you go, whether you go right to left or left to right. You will get the same answer, and both are 100% acceptable ways. The only thing that is not allowed is once I start going one way, I can't go back. So I can't go left to right, and then the other one go right to left. So I have to stay consistent about which point I start with. So hopefully that clears that up.